Okay, so I have several clients who have web stores, and uh, as much as I've tried to talk them into getting QuickBooks to connect to the web store, not always a possibility. <laughs> um, so we've come up with some workarounds on how to record um, and keep cash live, so your cash deposits are coming in without necessarily having to record your sales all every day. So maybe you have a part-time bookkeeper, just comes in three days a week, but you still want to manage your cash sales daily um, without having any problems. A lot of times this comes in too from the online banking, because if you go to online banking, it's going to mark that you have a deposit to make, and it's a deposit from a credit card process, you know, from processing a credit card yesterday on your web store, and it's sitting there in, a, in your um, bank account, in your online banking center, ready to be deposited into a bank account. And most business owners, they just want to get that cash in there, reflect that cash in there. But then where's the other side of the transaction? You don't put it straight to income, right? Because we want to break it out and say what we actually sold. So here's the solution that we came up with. Okay. First of all, in your chart of accounts here, you want to create and other current asset account and call it web store clearing. <clears throat> okay. The second thing that you want to do is you want to go up to edit and preferences and you want to go down to the payments tab and then company preferences. And you want to uncheck use undeposited funds as a default deposit to account. The reason you want to do that is because now we can make a deposit uh, to web store clearing. All right. So then what happens? We go ahead and um, we have our deposits that are coming through. So we're just going to record a deposit for now. All right. So we have deposit from is always going to be web store clearing account and the amount $1,000. Okay. Save. And this is on the 16th. Let's just say save a new. And we have also a, on the 17th, from account web store clearing in the amount of $500. Okay, save and close. So now if we look at our register for web store clearing, we've got $4,200 in here, which means we have $4,200 in invoicing or, you know, in sales that we need to record. Okay. So we're going to go in. Now the bookkeeper's coming in or whoever's responsible for recording the online sales comes in and they're going to say create sales receipt. All right, so they're going to choose a, a customer. Usually you can use a generic customer web store because if you ever really need to go see what a customer purchased, you can go online and find that in your web store. But some people do like putting it to the individual customers as well. All right, so all the information can be filled in, but for now we're just going to go ahead here and we choose an item code and it's going to be a 200 gigabyte hard drive and it's going to be a quantity of two and they're 250 dollars each and it's out of state so it's not taxable okay so now down below here we want to choose this and we are going to deposit it to the web store clearing account instead of to the bank account because we already recorded the deposit to the bank right so we're going to go ahead and say save and close here okay. So now when I go look at my check re my register for the clearing account, we have the web store clearing here. Here's your $500 and here's your $500 over there. Now what's nice about this is you do have the ability to reconcile this because it's a balance sheet account. So you can reconcile this account. So you can come in here, say reconcile. Don't worry about the statement date. You can do a statement date of 1130 all day long if you want to. You put the ending balance always as zero. And then you can uh, go ahead and con push continue here. So you can come in and reconcile, oh, that one equals that one. So we've got that received. But we still have these three that we need to get. We need to make sure that we make the um, receipt for. Okay, we need to enter the sales receipt for those three. So what I'll do is I'll say, oh, there's that $1,000 one. I look it up you know, $1,000 deposit. Now note also that this $1,000 deposit could be two $500 um, sales receipts, right? So let me show you what happens with that. So if we go into create sales receipts, I'm just going to use the one we already created. I'm going to create a duplicate of it. And I'm going to create a duplicate of it again. 
Okay. And say save and close. So I just created two more sales receipts for $500, right? So when I go into this reconciliation area now, so I can say, oh, you know, this, this $500 relates to that one. Now I have $1,000 here. So this one relates to those two. Those are cleared. I have a difference of zero and it's still telling me which are open. I still need to record these, these sales. Okay. So it's a good way to track, make sure that you're capturing all of your web store sales and make sure that everything is being posted into QuickBooks correctly. Uh, it's just a little workaround that, that we found using the web store clearing.